Hello everyone, uh, welcome again to some of the videos that we're using in this course to help us understand how to do the flipped classroom. After reading through a lot of posts, I really realized that I never mentioned, maybe I did mention, I don't really remember if I mentioned or not, um, the use of Edpuzzle. I believe I mentioned in one of my videos talking about the flipped classroom, one of the links that I shared with you, but I just wanted to just uh, focus our attention here again. So here I am in Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is a website, edpuzzle.com, that allows you to create classes and allows you to add your students to these classes and allows you to import uh, videos from multiple sources, mostly from YouTube, uh, where then you can take that video, you can edit it, and you can add things to it. You can add voice uh, over, you know, overlays to it. You can add questions and pop-ups. Uh, so there's a lot of really cool things you can do with it. And it also allows you to track how students view the videos. You can grade all their responses to the videos right in a puzzle. So one of the concerns of the flipped classroom was, how do I know if students are actually watching my video? Uh, as I mentioned before, when I first started doing the flipped classroom model, I'd often just try to watch the hits on YouTube, which obviously wasn't the best system for really understanding if students were actually watching the videos. So the way this works, the way I use it, I actually use it first through Google Classroom. So here's Google Classroom where I have all my classes set up. And once I do this first with, with my students, and then basically I do the Ed Puzzle for them. So I just import students from Google Classroom. You can see down here there's this, uh, this button here. Let me just move the page a little bit. Here's this button, import from Google Classroom. So these are all the ones I import from Google Classroom. And then now I can add ass assignments. So oftentimes, I go to my content first, and I upload content. Um, I use this also for our ed tech students for their EDT 511 videos. But um, here's some of the videos that I made. I made all these videos myself, and I upload them to a YouTube. All right, and then I could put these videos right on my ed puzzle page. Okay, so there's always this create button. You can upload a video, create a new video. You can do some student projects, which is really kind of kind of cool. Uh, you can assign and share video projects with other people. So there's really a lot of really neat possibilities here in Edpuzzle, which is a pretty you know neat kind of kind of thing. Um, so I also also share with my students. I'll go back to my main folder here. Uh, I also share with them uh, crash course videos. I'm a big proponent of crash course. There's a lot of different crash course subjects on YouTube and I'll share these videos with my students. Now with these videos again, either it's my video or a crash course video, I add questions anywhere I want in the in the video uh, to make a lesson. Okay, so let's just do this really 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 quickly. Um, let's say I went to a YouTube. Let me go to YouTube and I wanted to grab a video. Um, don't know what I'm gonna be looking at right now. Okay, um, so a lot of different things here. Let me go to some of like my subscriptions and things like that, or my channel. I guess I'll go to like my channel, I guess. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. That's some historical video we can look at. Massacre at Mystic. Yeah, it's a really good one about the uh, Pueblo Indian, not Pueblo, the uh, Pequot Indians and their fights against Europeans, right? Very cool stuff if you like history. So I copy that video link and I'm just going to go to create new video. And here we go. It already gives you here some of the places where you could get video takes from. I'm just going to paste my URL there. Okay, I'm gonna just, just gonna search it. And here comes the video. So this is the actual video right here from YouTube. I can crop it down here. I can add um, audio tracks over it. I can record my mic and I can add things over it. Okay, I can add notes, audio notes, different spots of the video. So something, it will stop. They gotta listen to a, a note. Then once I listen to the note, it goes forward. Great way to sort of guide them through a, a video. And the one I use the most is quizzes. Okay, so if I go to quizzes, anywhere in the video, I can sort of uh, put a quiz question. And if I type on the quiz question here, I have some options of what I want to do. I can add a open-ended question. I can add a multiple choice question. Um, this is actually an open-ended question, excuse me. This is multiple choice, and this is just a comment. So you want something to say comment to sort of pop up, and then it will pop up, and they can't go forward until they read the comment. So it's a really great way to make any sort of video very interactive. Okay, so let me, let me just uh, finish it. Once I finish the video, then I could share it right out to my classes. I could put a due date. I could prevent skipping. 
or I can share the video with anyone. You know, I can just share this link out, all right, or an embedded code. So really super awesome stuff. I use this a lot with my Schoology setup as well. I have all my um, and videos embedded on Schoology to share with my students. So really a lot of possibilities here. Now, I really don't want to show you my, 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 my students' names, uh, but I can just like go into here uh, to October and see what their progress was from last year, how many people actually watched percentage completed. And then I go in here and then I could grade it. I could grade all the assignments. I could add point values to it. Every, every student name shows up. I could click on a lot of analytics of when they watch it, when did they pause the video. It gives you more than you'd ever want to know on how that video interacted with that particular student. So hope this makes sense. Uh, it's a great way to sort of uh, bring that flip learning content uh, into your classroom and have some accountability, which is an absolute must, right? Okay, great. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time to watch this and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.